What's going on guys? So through my time browsing YouTube and especially making my videos about the FT3D, I've seen a lot of confusion about Bluetooth on the actual radio and what kind of features it has, what kind of headsets it works with, and how to use it all around. So I decided to go ahead and because I make a lot of FT3D videos, I seem fitting that I will go ahead and make an all-in-one little Bluetooth guide to the radio. And we're also going to talk about some of the headsets that will work with it and some of them that I've seen that will not work with it. And I have several Bluetooth headsets here sitting here that we're going to go through. And then after that, we're actually going to go outside and go check out my car to see if the Bluetooth that's built into my car radio will work with the radio. So the cool thing about Bluetooth on the FT3D is the fact that you can connect a device and then you can use Vox with the Bluetooth headset in order to actually use it. So this means that once you have a Bluetooth headset that you can pair up with the radio, you just stick it in your ear and once you begin speaking, ideally the radio will transmit and once you stop speaking, it will stop transmitting and you can continue to listen. So this could be really useful in situations where you're managing events and you just need your hands or something like that and you're able to just speak and talk with other people over the radio. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Bluetooth function on the radio and see if we can't get any of our headsets that I have here working with it. Alright, so first let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the Bluetooth function. So to get to the Bluetooth menu, obviously you need to turn on the radio, after which you'll hold in the display button to get to your menu, and then you'll go to Option. After which, obviously we have Bluetooth, we have Device List, so if you've ever paired anything, then if you go into the device list, you're going to have things here. And you can also delete them and connect to them. Easy enough. Now, over to Bluetooth, once you connect this, in, in order to use Bluetooth at all, this option obviously has to be on. So, if you're going to pair a headset, make sure that we have it here. Now, once this is on, we're pretty much ready to go ahead and start searching for a headset. Now, I did say I had a few to deal with. So the first headset we're going to be uh, testing is the TechPods, which are pretty much knockoff Apple AirPods. Um, but they're pretty decent. They came with a smartwatch that I got. All the links to the ones that I talk about will be on Amazon below. To put these guys in pairing mode, all I have to do is just go ahead and open the lid. And now I'm going to go over to the Bluetooth menu. And I'm going to hit search. Now ideally here we should see something here like this, tick pods, I'm going to go ahead and hit connect, maybe. Oh actually we're going to hit stop first and now we're going to hit connect, there we go. <clears throat> so it says connecting on screen and we're going to give it just a moment here and see if these don't start pairing up. Not connected, so that's probably a sign that uh, these tick pods are not going to work. We're going to go back and we're going to try to connect them again anyways. So it's it's still trying to connect to them. We're going to give that just a moment. Actually, we're going to cancel out and we're going to try to do a little hack here. I'm going to close the, the lid and I'm going to reopen it. And I'm going to go to the device list. And I'm going to click connect here and see if it doesn't work. All right, so it looks like the tick pods are not going to work. I'm going to go ahead and just delete these guys out from the list. And we are not going to worry about these anymore. We know that that's not going to work with this radio. So the next thing I want to talk about is this little headset here from Alterola. And the link to these will be on Amazon below, but it's basically just a one ear pod uh, deal. You just put it in your ear. So I'm going to see if I can connect this guy up. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in my ear and hold in the button to put it into pairing mode. Alright, so we're in pairing mode, so I'm going to go back to Bluetooth here. And I'm going to go ahead and search. And I see the headset here, the Alterola IE610. I'm going to go ahead and hit connect. Actually, stop first and then connect. I always forget to do that. 
So we have the connecting symbol on here and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get a message saying that they're connected. So it says it says it's connected and so that's a good sign. To test that we're going to go back, back, back. And as you can see the Bluetooth light up here is solid. That means we do have a Bluetooth connection. If it was blinking it means it's still searching for a device. So what I can do now is I'm just going to put this over here and I'm going to turn my squelch all the way down to see if I can hear anything. So I can hear the radio just fine. That's a good sign. And <clears throat> there is a weird there is a weird sound coming through the headset though at all times. It's almost like a some type of weird audio feedback. It comes and goes. Kind of strange. But we're going to go ahead and now try out the box operation. So once I do that, as long as I'm speaking, then it should come through the radio. And to turn on Vox, we are going to go to the RXTX menu. And then we're going to go to Audio. And then we're going to go to Vox. And here we can change it to Low, Medium, and High, which is the sensitivity. I'm going to go ahead and, and try Medium to start out with. Oh, I guess there's this Low and High. I'm going to try the High to start out with and see what happens. And the delay is the delay to switch back to receive after you've been speaking and there's a pause. So I'm going to go back here and see. This is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo listening. This is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo listening. All right, so now that that's off again, this headset seems to work perfectly. I mean, it it's not picking up any ambient sounds or anything like that. As soon as I speak, it's transmitting, and then it's going back. So um, if you're just looking for something with a like a one uh, earpod setup, which ideally that's kind of what I like unless I'm listening to music, then this guy right here seems to be doing pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and put him back, and then we're going to move on to the Fitbit Flyers. So I got the Fitbit Flyers because I wanted a headset to use while I was running. And these are kind of like workout headsets. And so this is what these are. They're attached with a little rubber, it goes around your neck, and these go into your ear. So now we're going to see if we can't pair these over Bluetooth. So I'm going to go ahead and put them on and put them back into pairing mode. And I'm going to add it as a device here. So we're going back into Option, Bluetooth, and we're going to disconnect this, and we're going to search, and I'm going to go ahead and put this into pairing mode. Alright, so there's my Fitbit flyer. I'm going to go ahead and connect. Oh, sorry, stop. Always remember to stop and then connect. So now this headset is connecting. Sounds like it's connected, sounds like everything's working. I'm going to go back, sorry, I'm going to go back, and we're going to turn the squelch down again and see what we hear. So once again, I pretty much hear everything fine. It's the same deal. Um, let's go ahead and try out the Vox just to be sure. So I'm going back up here, audio, Vox, and we're going to change it to high. This is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo. So nothing here. Let me try speaking into the microphone of the headset. This is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo. This is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo. Alright, so the Fitbit Flyers. Uh, receive audio works, but it's not transmitting with Vox. So the, the Bluetooth on this radio is a little finicky. You need to find a headset that works. So that kind of sucks. It doesn't work with everything, obviously, but out of these three headsets, this guy right here is the, the clear winner. This has got a really nice battery life. It's only one ear pod, and it seems to work on RX and TX. But as for a last test, I'm going to go out to the car, and we're going to see how our car behaves. So I'll see you guys out there. All right, so now I'm in the, the car with the radio, and we're going to try to pair my Phone car. Available. 
of course, we're going to try to pair my car with the radio. So to do that, I'm going to have to go through this really annoying automated system. Now this is called Uconnect, and they shipped this, I think, with the Dodge Dart. So it could be in a lot of Dodge cars, but we're going to try this out. So I'm going to go ahead and put the radio over to search, and I'm going to add, try to add a phone over here. Ready. Pair device. Misrecognition. Pair new device. Misrecognition. Bluetooth devices. The current towing assistance number is one. Oh my gosh. Zero, nine, zero, pound. Is this correct? No. Number please. No. Zero, is this correct? Stop. Misrecognition. Stop, exit. I don't know what kind of idiot developed this crap, but my God. Refer to www.uconnectphone.com for a list of supported Bluetooth devices. Please say the name of the device after the beep. FT3DR. Adding. FT3DR. Is this correct? Yes. Should paired device be set as favorite? No. Start pairing procedure on device. See device manual for instructions. All right, here it is. Let's see if we can't connect to it. So this has a pin number on it, so it's probably not going to work with the headset. Is what I'm thinking. It's not going to work as the Bluetooth. And it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. It's trying to connect, but nothing's happening, just like the headsets that wouldn't work. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, in this video, we tested out four different Bluetooth communication devices. We were able to get two of them to work, and only one of them worked with actual RX and TX. So as you can see, if the Bluetooth is the reason you're buying this radio, you want to make sure that you get a headset that works, because it is a little finicky. And so it, to me, it seems like if the Bluetooth device has two devices, or if there's a pairing pin number, um, or they're using more updated standards, like I think Bluetooth 5.0, they're probably out of the question. So if you're looking to use the FT3D with your Apple iPods, for example, uh, or whatever their AirPods, whatever they're calling them, um, then this is not going to work for you. Unless you find some workaround that I couldn't find out in this video. But I will make sure that the link to at least the, the headsets that worked uh, are going to be down below in your description if you're uh, willing to buy them. The one that worked with RX and TX is one that I bought from for work a few years ago. And I wanted something cheap, so it is a decent little price. Like, you don't have to break the bank. Uh, I forget how much it is on Amazon, but I'll throw the link down below. All right, so I want to go ahead and give a shout out to my two YouTube Extra memberships, uh, which is Dennis Family. Dennis, thank you. You are the newest. Uh, I do not know your Discord username or anything or your call sign other than that, so feel free to reach out to me over Discord so I can get you over in the supporter role. And also James KI5MBO for being an extra. And anyways, if you guys want to join the channel, it supports me as a creator, kind of helps me buy some more uh, equipment for the channel, so please consider doing that. And please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and 73 to you.